hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video before getting into the solution so I want to tell you that I'm going to prepare the exam preparation video MCQs for Python course also so if you want to join in this course preparation you can just click the link that I provide in the description or you can directly go to the our channel page as Kumar edu and click on join button here so after clicking you will get three type of packs so click on 89 rupees pack or 119 pack 119 will also include if I upload any live videos also but if you want only recording videos you can go through 89 pack and click on join and make your payment so that you will become member of our our channel and you will get exclusive access to all the preparation videos not only just python you can get all the exam preparation videos so with just 89 per month you can get the preparation of mcqs guys it is not content i will provide the uh, content in the form of mcqs so it will be very much similar to the final exam pattern there you will get mcqs right so it will i think it will be helpful for you so hope you take good decision and if it is a semester subject then please try to recommend this to your classmates also so that it will be very helpful to make the next parts i mean i will try to do nearly three to four parts of preparation videos so i will try to do better videos from the remaining parts also so please try to join your other classmates also so that everyone can get good marks and pass your subject so guys hope you use this opportunity to the great extent so let's get back to the video now for solutions of week 7 assignment of joy of computing using python course guys i have also made preparation i uh, mean programming assignment video you can go through that after this video so first question which of the following is or are uses of functions so what are the uses of the functions so all the given three are the uses of the functions so mark option four all of the above moving on to the second question now what is the output of the following spiral print python function so here they gave a program and they are asking the output of that program so for second question the solution is second option so mark second option as the solution for second question Moving on to third question. Which of the following library moves the turtle backward? So they are asking the library that moves the turtle backward. So for third question the answer is all the above. So mark option D. Next fourth question. So fourth one. Which of the following library has to be imported to plot the root map using GPS locations in Python? So for fourth question the answer is all these two are correct that means third option both is the answer. Moving on to the fifth question. Bytes, byte array, memory view or type of dash data type. So for fifth question, the answer is third option, 
binary types bytes byte array memory view or type of binary data type moving on to the 16th i mean sixth question in the snakes and ladders game the least number of times a player has to roll a die with the following ladder position is there is 5 so let's move on to the seventh question now which of the following code snippet will create a tuple in python so for seventh question the answer is first option moving on to eighth question what does the following program plot so they are asking the output of the program and the how it will plot output means the or uh, the how it will plot the program so for eighth question the answer is second option plots the number of times the given input matches with the random number generated so mark second option moving on to the ninth one ninth question Sentiment analysis involves working with dash. So sentiment analysis involves working with dash. So it working with fourth option, a piece of information is positive or negative. So mark fourth option. And moving on to on to the final question of the assignment. The tenth question: What does the following code snippet in Python compute? So they are asking indirectly the what the output of the following program represents. So it represents option C: Find all the occurrences of text two in text one. That is third option. So friends, these are the solutions for week 7 quiz assignment. You can also go through the programming assignment answers that I have already uploaded. So friends, as I said above, if you want to join in the preparation videos and if it is a part of your semester, please recommend this to your friends also to join. It will be, hope it will be very helpful for you to get good marks. So guys, with just 89 rupees, you can get access to all subject preparation videos that I upload. So take good decision and try to join in this with just 89 rupees pack itself. So friends these are the solutions for this week. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends. So until the next video goodbye thank you and if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section.